I'm going to show you how to add a texture onto a landscape and also how to do a little bit with lighting. So first off, what I need to do is go find this uh, landscape. So this is pretty much what I'm going to show you how to do is put on a simple texture onto a background like this right here. <clears throat> so, to, so to do that, first off, let's kind of start all over and I'm going to go ahead and remove so I'm going to select that background that I have the texture on and over here on my materials icon I'm going to go ahead and just remove that so it no longer has any texture at all. So I've got it selected. I'll go ahead and click new and I'm just going to give it a name. Uh, it doesn't matter what you name it as long as it makes sense to you and then I'm going to just add just a color just as a reference color. Eventually that's going to go away. So once I've added my material I can come over to textures uh, and then go to new, go to clouds and change that from clouds to image or movie and then I can load up my texture down here under image. So, uh, and I've got this textures folder already set up. <clears throat> if uh, This is something you want to actually do before you um, get into trying to add this. Um, my setup basically looks like this where I have my blender file and then I have uh, a textures folder that I'm going to have all this collection of all these textures that I could possibly use in this project. So make sure this textures folder is in the same place as your Blender file, otherwise it won't work um, correctly. So to look at that texture that I put on there, I'll go ahead and just click on the render icon and now I can see the texture that I've placed on there. So a couple things I really don't like about it. Number one, I want to kind of change uh, the scale of that. So if I come down a little bit on this, um, I can change the size here and I'm just going to type out uh, a number on each of these and that should scale uh, that down and you can still keep going you can make it bigger or smaller that way it's not so huge and stretched out across uh, that area you can also play with the flat if I've got a bridge or a building sometimes changing it from flat to cubed uh, can really uh, help out uh, the, and then the next thing I want to do is I kind of got this weird shine going on here. Um, to get rid of that shine, I can go back uh, to my material icon and go under specular and I can just take that down and that should uh, remove that, that specular so it's not so shiny. On something like water you may want to keep some of that but on this I don't really have shiny dirt or anything. Uh, the last thing I haven't mentioned yet, and that's lighting. Uh, so my light source is actually a sunlight here. Um, so I'm just going to highlight that, highlight the icon for that, and jump back into render mode. Uh, if you want to change that up, you can. So I can change it to point, um, which is a little bit darker and kind of more stationary. Sun is kind of what I was using, uh, which works pretty good for this and also gives you the option to add in a sky. Uh, spot might be better for an indoor arena and then Hemi pretty much makes it so you don't have any shadows at all uh, and I just don't even use this area so the one that works best for this project is kind of the sun uh, on there so hopefully that helps you out um, on this.